Very popular in the Mexican restaurants. Usually when we are in, in Mexico and when I comment about Mexico, I like to talk a little bit about everything. Not only the, the positive, not only the good. I like to talk a little bit about everything. I, I'm, I'm not from the Chamber of Commerce. So I'm not trying to convince you to come to visit, I mean, to live in Mexico. But every day we have more and more Canadians and Americans moving to Mexico. We have big cities like Aquijic, like the Lake of Chapala. In Guadalajara, large uh, population there, large community. We have San Miguel de Allende, which is one of the most beautiful cities in Mexico. One of the most beautiful, beautiful uh, small colonial cities, and now it's mainly Americans and Canadians living there. Um, Merida, in the Yucatan, is also becoming, becoming that. Why? Because uh, you can make more with your dollars in Mexico. So if, if you go to the supermarket, you will see the prices of the prices for food as you will see in Walmart today. The prices for chick uh, for eggs, for uh, milk, for bread, they are about the same as in the States. So food is expensive in Mexico. You know, when you go to a supermarket like, like Walmart, uh, we have a few supermarkets. But then, uh, for people of lower incomes, they don't go to Walmart, they go to the city markets. That's where they buy their, their fruits, uh, their vegetables, uh, meats, cheese. That they bought at the supermarket, at the local market, uh, which will be like a fresh, uh, like a, a farmer's, farmer's market. Education, yeah. Uh, you know, the education is mandatory, is free. But uh, the government builds schools and they provide the, the benches, the t-shirts, the blackboards, the textbooks. On the weekends, uh, you will see people coming, uh, walking from the city to this place. They walk from the city, you know, for about six miles. They walk, they are penance, they are paying from uh, favors received uh, from the Virgin. Especially when you have a health problem, you ask for help, get the favor and then in return you will walk to be uh, to pay for your favor to be grateful you do the pilgrimage from the city to the shrine and that's always on uh, Saturday morning Sunday morning you see all these people walking then also some people park on the side of the road with uh, water with coffee with food to be provided for this uh, pilgrims. We're now approaching the city of Hermosillo, city of uh, about 900,000 people, capital of this state. Uh, industry, cattle ranching and farming and mining, the most important uh, economic activities of this region. The most important companies, Ford, they assemble cars here in Hermosillo and also a number of satellite companies working for Ford.
square here to the left. Uh, the main square in the church that is now uh, going, uh, it has some uh, repair works. Okay, uh, so this is a good place to try a uh, group picture. events betting I don't remember if it was in Alamos or El Fuerte. We saw this girl with this beautiful dress. The quinceañera in Mexico is like the sweet uh, 16, but in Mexico is when they turn 15. Well, uh, families save money for years for that event. They have to buy that, that dress. They organize this reception you know, for 150, 200 persons. You, you 
get married in church. I mean, if you're Catholic, yeah. Yeah, you, you get married at church. So you rent a limo to go to the church and then uh, from the church to the reception hall. Most of the time you will be buying dinner for all the guests. You have to pay for a big band to play at your wedding. <coughs> oh yeah, also you pay sometimes for mariachi band. So yeah, we, 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 people are generous in Mexico for, uh, for weddings. And uh, weddings are always at night. They usually start at nine and uh, for five hours. So from nine uh, to two. Medical schools at private universities, uh, they are okay, but not as good as the state. Because uh, as long as you pay, you remain at the school. Not, not as demanding as the state school.
began with, with the squatters, all these houses on the hills. The, uh, people coming from uh, southern Mexico, some of them uh, came here looking for a job. Because of the uh, assembly plants, hundreds of assembly plants here on the border, so they are the main employers. And uh, some, of, some people came here with a plan of crossing the border to the U.S. They fail because they are caught by the border patrol and they have to remain in towns like Morales. So we, we call this population the floating population. X-ray machine in front of us. Besides, uh, you're getting another cookie from the hotel. It's a double tree. Oh, so you get the uh, chocolate chocolate chip at the at the hotel.